XRP Army, welcome back. What's going on, guys? Let's talk some XRP. Uh, some very interesting comments coming out from uh, David Schwartz, Ripple's chief technology officer, uh, talking about Satoshi a little bit. So uh, let's get into some crypto talk. If you can, guys, uh, and you're not subscribed to the channel, it really means a lot. Make sure you guys all smash that like button and subscribe down below. And let's get down into it, okay? And please remember, this is not financial advice. So always do your own research and due diligence when we talk crypto here on the channel. And let's get into these comments by uh, David Schwartz. So uh, saying that Satoshi has held an enormous, okay, enormous amount of XRP. Uh, we all know who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Uh, that is the uh, basically the, the no-face creator of Bitcoin, okay? And this was a claim in his 2021 deposition in regards to the SEC Ripple lawsuit, okay? Uh, that's where he talks further about Bitcoin uh, the creator of Bitcoin, uh, holding a large amount of XRP. Uh, now, according to uh, a little bit farther, right, that is very likely that he still uh, holds a large amount of XRP. And that was said unprovoked under deposition. So you can't make comments about that uh, basically being subjective. So uh, that's kind of important to understand dating back to a little bit of a precursor of this trial and seeing exactly what is going on, right? And the reason why I'm making this video is just to illustrate the pur purpose uh, and the sole purpose is the fact that if the creator of Bitcoin, right, the number one performing asset in crypto uh, is a firm believer in XRP, why are we not, okay? So uh, that's where the Ripple team was focused on building a payment system around XRP, but no effort was made for Bitcoin, okay? Uh, you know, they could have very easily made that effort to build it around Bitcoin uh, in pointing out why so is because Ripple's control of XRP gives the company an advantage over its competitors. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably chuckling right now and saying it also gives them the ability to uh, dump on the community, okay? But nonetheless, uh, that's neither here nor there, okay? Uh, that's kind of where he acknowledges how the difference between Bitcoin and XRP is uh, in that... You know, quite frankly, if Satoshi did own a lot, a lot of XRP, um, be very curious if he still does. So uh, this is posing a bigger question and kind of a stupid uh, kind of point in this article. Is David Schwartz Satoshi Nakamoto? Um, you know, being deposed and under deposition, I don't know if you guys have ever uh, been a part of that. Uh, you know, you're subject to perjury. You can't lie. Uh, so it is interesting to see if he you know, has some inside knowledge. If he knows Satoshi, I don't think he is, but does he know him? Possibly. Okay. So very interesting, uh, and in how that all came about. So, I uh, wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight into this. Um, I think it's huge news for XRP, just in the premise that, you know, it gives kind of way to that belief system where, you know, if, if the creator of Bitcoin believes in XRP, why don't we? Okay. And that kind of hopefully will hope uh, help the the sentiment with XRP and kind of guide the way uh, for the future as we move into 2024, kind of change the narrative a little bit and get some of that fudding out of uh, XRP and, and all that good stuff. So uh, appreciate you guys. Um, make sure you all subscribe on your way out. Uh, this was just a quick XRP update. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.